good in the web? This is your boy Q back again. And just when you thought it was safe to go to your local retail store, more games are out. And it's the month of August, and while we don't have all the RPGs that we had last month, we still got more than a few quality H2O games that are dropping this month. The good thing is they're at a reasonable price point. The first game we have to talk about drops on August 7th, and that's Dead Cells, which comes out for the PS4, Xbox One, the Nintendo Switch, and the PC for a friendly $19.99. Dead Cells is a roguelike Castlevania-inspired platformer, which allows you to explore a sprawling, ever-changing castle, well, of course, assuming you're able to fight your way past these keepers. To beat the game, you have to master 2D soul-like combat with the ever-present threat of the permadeath looming. No checkpoints, kill, die, learn, repeat. Let me say that again. No checkpoints, kill, die, learn, repeat. To beat the game, you have to master intense 2D action with adrenaline pumping threat of being really permanently killed, pattern-based bosses, minions, weapons, spells, and unique gameplay, and a non-linear progression. Unlock new levels with every death. Tired of going through the sewers? Well, why not take the corridor? This game not only boasts a new way to play, but it has many, many exploration points, secret rooms, hidden passages, charming landscapes, and a fine place for a holiday. This game looks amazing and refreshing. I love what developers are doing nowadays. Not every game is meant to be 200K and 469 million pixels. Gameplay, uniqueness, and playability, and especially story, can far outweigh graphics any day. So, uh, <clears throat> developers, take note. Take note. On August 9th, Okami HD drops exclusively about time for the Nintendo Switch at a 19.99 price point. Long ago, there was a village called Kamaki Village, where everyone from the villagers to the animals lived in peace and happiness. But then one day, a legendary evil monster came back to life and put an evil curse on the entire world. Everything that had any instance, any bit of life, disappeared from the earth in a blink of an eye. And their place was left in a dreadful, barren wasteland. But there was hope. The majestic wolf embodied the sun god, Armaterasu. Now, the present Armaterasu stumbles upon a mysterious fairy sprite named Eason, and together they set out on an adventure as the two aim to regain the 13 powers of the celestial brush and defeat the evil force once and for all. These visuals have always been amazing, but now we get a chance to revisit this 2006 masterpiece. Not only is Okami breathtaking, but it utilizes its unique gameplay with the art style to engulf players, new and old alike, into this very vibrant world. On August 21st, Shinmu 1 and 2 drops for PS4, PC, Xbox One, and that's it. For $29.99, when Shinmu dropped exclusively way back in the day for Dreamcast, and when I mean way back in the day, for all you young folks, I'm talking like 1999. It was regarded as, and still is regarded as, one of the most influential role-playing games of all time, with many action-based sequences and choices that are still used in modern-day gaming today. You are Ryo, teenage martial artist who lives in Japan, and is returning home to his family dojo only to witness a confrontation between his father and a Chinese man named Lan Di. Ryu, of course, intervenes, but is easily knocked out. Lan Di demands Ryo's father give him a mysterious stone, an artifact only known as the Dragon Mirror, or he threatens to kill Ryo. The story escalates quickly, and not to give too much away from the plot point because y'all know how I am about spoilers, know this. The story is filled with love, revenge, mystery, and real life struggle. The game not only comes with part 1, but also part 2, conveniently, when part 3 is just right around the corner. The only thing that would make this HD version better is if we could also play it <coughs> <coughs> on the go, like, on our Switch. On August 28th, Blade Strangers drops for the PS4, Nintendo Switch, and for the PC at a $39.99 price point. 
If you like girls with swords that fight, Guilty Gear, Blades Blue, anime, and fighting games in general, then this is the game for you. A malevolent force known only as Lena is devouring data from a vast interdimensional network of servers overseen by sentient computers known as moats. In desperation, the moats summon heroes from a variety of parallel game worlds to face off on a one-on-one -on -one combat. The tournament victor has the potential to be awakened as the Blade Stranger, the savior who can vanquish Lena and protect the moats from further harm. Developed by Studio Sizen, Blade Strangers is a hardcore old-school fighting game. The streamlined four-button control scheme makes it easy for beginners to deal out damage from day one, but it is also intricate enough for combos, counters, and specials to give tournament caliber players plenty of opportunities for frame counting, chain constitution, and hitbox science. Some of the features are fighter rosters which include popular characters from games like Cold Princess X, other indie characters like Isaac from Binding of Isaac, Shovel Knight and Gun Vault, Quote and Curly Brace from Cave Story, accessibility and intuitive controls designed to bring fresh blood to the ranks of a fighting game for players everywhere. Play offline story mode, missions, arcade and both versus modes, or Try to climb the leaderboards in a highly competitive online mode. Tutorial and training modes are available for beginners and advanced players alike. Each character has their own alternate color settings and their own familiar home stage for players to select. This is a beautiful fighting game boasting 3D models and 2D animation sprite work and every frame looks gorgeous and I mean gorgeous and I ain't just talking about the characters. It looks like an anime drawing has come to life. Also on August 28th, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate drops exclusively for the Nintendo Switch at a $60 price point. See, I told you, this is the other games weren't so bad. This is the only game that's regular price. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is the follow-up of Monster Hunter Generations and marks the Monster Hunter series debut on Nintendo Switch. Hunters can face off against the largest roster of unique monsters of any of the Monster Hunter games to date. Players can take on the role of a brave hunter challenging larger-than-life beasts that yield valuable resources used for crafting unique weapons and equipment. Some of the key features are colossal rosters, which take the series' largest roster of monsters to date, including all new monsters, deviant variants, and a mysterious new elder dragon, Volstrax. You also have co-op multiplayer, so you can join up and hunt online with up to three other hunters, or meet up and play together via local party. Play anywhere with your Nintendo Switch for the first time. Gamers like me and you have the flexibility to either play online with friends on a TV, tabletop mode, or play on the go in handheld mode. You can join up to three other players for co-op multiplayer action, either online or in person using local wireless. So this month isn't so bad, only one game at $60 price point. Let me know what game you're going to be getting this month. I'm going to pick up that Shinmu 1 and 2 collection from my PS4. Um, I don't know if I want to wait for the Switch, because Sega ain't said nothing yet. Uh, and at 30 bucks, um, I can get to that after, uh, I beat this Octopath Traveler. But, as always, in the web, this has been your boy Q, your friendly neighborhood geek. If you did like this video, please, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date on all things games and all things geek. And until next time, interweb, remember, eat, geek, sleep, repeat. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace!